Hello and welcome to the video. This is a video specifically about how to reverse motors if you have something like this here. This is the quadcopter that I built at Christmas 2023, early 2024, and part of the quadcopter building for beginner series. I'll put a link down below using a Speedy B F405 V4 stack, and it has four in one ESCs underneath that are connected to the motors. And this is going to be using actual footage from that original series. But but it's specifically to answer a couple of questions I've had recently from people who've been asking how to use BL Heli Suite and associated programs to reverse the motors. Because invariably, when you come to test it, and I'll show you how to do it in a minute, you'll find that one or more of the motors is going to be backwards. It's always the way. It's Sod's Law. Now, you can also reverse the motors with modern Betaflight. As of Betaflight 4.3, you can reverse it from within Configurator as well. However, using some of the BL Heli tools and other things will give you access to lots of other settings in your ESCs if you want to do more than just reverse them. I'll put a link down below to a video that shows you how to do that. Now, if you're going to be testing your motors, always make sure that the props are off and that you're using some kind of smoke checker. I would use something like the Vifly one I have here. And before you plug it in for the first time, use an ohmmeter just to check there are no dead shorts. If you're building the quad yourself, just guarantees that you haven't accidentally done something that you're going to very quickly regret. But I use the Vifly smoke stopper. And then if something does untoward happen, this will automatically detect the power. I'll put a link down below to my video that talks about that. So now we've done those checks, we can check first of all whether or not the motors are turning in the right direction. Now Betaflight in the configurator has a little bit of a crib sheet and if you follow along with that you can test each of the motors. Not only the direction but the number because you see here that number one is in the lower right hand corner, number two is in the top right hand side etc etc and we can test each of them individually but we are going to have to plug in the battery. Now some models Modern ESCs will not run BL Heli, they'll run something like Blue Jay, and there'll be different things that you can run for that. There are some online tools that you can use that will configure both Blue Jay and BL Heli S, but the process is exactly the same. But the ESCs that I'm using here are BL Heli, so that's what we're going to use. So what we're going to have to do is plug this in because the ESCs need to be powered before we connect it into the computer. And what is going to happen is once we've connected the cable to the computer, the flight controller is basically going to pass through the signals to the ESCs so we can talk and interrogate them. But first of all, let's just triple check that which motors we have going in the right and wrong direction. This is always worthwhile doing a couple of times. And I've written down on this little post-it pad that crib sheet from inside Betaflight because I need to just double check which is which. And I'd recommend doing something similar and having a pen handy to write a little tick or cross by the side. So here in Betaflight, we're connected. We can see everything moving. So that's all good. And we can now check that the motors are going to be working in the right way. And to do that, we are going to have to go into the motors tab. In here, we have that little diagram again. It can either be normal direction, which is what I've got here, or they can be reversed. Triple check which way you have it set here in Betaflight. It will show you the right way round. And that is the way that we're going to check each of these in turn. So now we've got that, we're going to click here. It says, I understand the dangers. That's going to make these motors live. And now using the sliders here, we're going to be able to try each of them in turn. So motor four is the front right or front left, actually. So if we raise motor four, we should see it moving on the quad. And we should also be able to check with our fingers by touching it, which is right. And that one is turning in the right direction. So we're good. Let's try the next one. Let's go, and if it doesn't work, by the way, uh, if the ESCs don't fire up, do check you have the right protocol selected. I'm using BL Heli uh, because that's what these ESCs are. So the next one we'll try then is number two. That should be the front right. That is the right place, but it's rotating in the wrong direction. So motor two is wrong. And this is always the way it tends to work. Next one then, we'll try motor three. 
Uh, motor 3 is here at the bottom left hand side so we're going to raise the throttle again the motor will turn check it with our fingertips and we can decide if it's going the right way or not it's not rotating in the wrong direction which probably means that the last one which is motor 1 is going to be in the right direction because it always seems to be 2 for 2 so let's just try that it is in the right direction and it is rotating in the right way round so that's great so let's just turn that off and then we are safe we now know that there are two motors here motors four two and three that we're going to have to change in the bl heli suite so i've downloaded bl heli suite i'll put a link down below so you can get it and we're going to connect now and tell the escs on two and three that they are moving in the wrong direction and they need to be reversed so what we're going to do is we're going to close be beta flight configurator and we need to make sure that we're crystal clear on which of the motors are backwards because the numbering is going to be the same when we connect them in a moment so this is where you need to download it from uh, there are lots of different tools this just happens to be the one that i'm using bl heli configurator 1.2 is the one i've got available for lots of different softwares i'm obviously running windows here so i've downloaded and installed it for windows so this is what the tool looks like based pretty much on the beta flight and INF configurators. We're going to select the same COM port that the flight controller appeared on, and then we are going to make sure, again, that everything's powered. We need to make sure that it's powered because if we try and connect without ESCs being powered, nothing will happen. And now we clicked on connect, nothing will appear until we click on read. And once it's read everything, we can see the common parameters here on the left that's common to all of the ESCs. And here on the right hand side, you can see ESCs one to four, and we can change the direction that they move. And if you remember, it was motors two and three that we needed to reverse, so we've done that. We will write those changes back to the ESCs. That should then save everything. I don't like the fact that it doesn't give you any kind of positive things that that's happened. So I would read those settings back and just confirm that the ones that have supposed to be reversed actually have been. And that looks like everything has worked beautifully. It's read them back great. So we'll disconnect from that and we'll close out the suite. And then we can rerun using the beta flight configurator and just rerun those motor tests again. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the motors tab again. And we're going to again click. I know what I'm doing because again, be triple check that your props are not connected for this. And what we're going to do is we're going to just go through and check each of them again. So motor four was right, one was right, two and three were wrong. So let's just test motor two. Yeah, it's now going in the right direction. So that's great. Test motor three that's now going in the right direction as well. So we are all good to go. So hopefully if you haven't been sure about that, that answers it for you. I would recommend if you're not sure about any of this, do check out the quad copter building for beginner series i put a link down below to the last one i did at the beginning of the year because that goes through every step in this level of detail to get the, to the end and to get it all flying thank you for watching my video check out the playlist and adding painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content if you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.